नमस्कार टुडे वी स्टडी द एंटी मेटाबोलाइट्स द एंटी मेटाबोलाइट्स आर द साइटोटॉक्सिक एजेंट्स कमिंग अंडर एंटी कैंसर ड्रग्स एंड दिज एंटी मेटाबोलाइट्स वी के क्लासिफाई देम एज फोलेट एंटागोनिस्ट प्यूरिन एंटागोनिस्ट एंड पैरिमिडिन एंटागोनिस्ट फोलेट एंटागोनिस्ट लाइक मिथोटिकसेट प्यूरिन एंटागोनिस्ट और प्यूरिन एनालॉग्स लाइक सिक्स मर्कैप्टोप्यूरिन सिक्स थायोगोनाइन आजा थायोप्रिन फ्लूडाराबिन क्लाडीराबिन पेंटोस्टाटिन पायरिमिडिन एंटागोनिस लाइक फाइव फ्लोरोसिल साइटाराबिन आजा साइटाबिन जेम साइटाबिन टोमोडेक्स सो दीज आर ऑल एंटी मेटाबोलाइट्स एंड दे इनहिबिट द डीएनए सिंथेसिस एंड हेंस देयर विल बी इनहिबिशन ऑफ प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस लाइक योर एंजाइम्स एंड माइक्रोट्यूबल्स सो द प्यूरिन्स लाइक आडेनाइन गुआनाइन and the pyrimidines like cytosine thymine or uracil they uh, initially uh, synthesize the ribonucleotides from which deoxyribonucleotides are synthesized from which dna is uh, synthesized then by transcription messenger rna will be formed and this rna is uh, useful in synthesis of proteins uh, uh, along with your uh, transfer rna and ribosomal rna these proteins include enzymes and microtubules and uh, they have a role in cell division so <clears throat> purine analogs uh, that is the analogs of adenine and guanine uh, for example 6 mercaptopurine or 6 thioguanine 6 thioguanine is an analog of guanine so in in place of guanine 6 thio thioguanine will act and because of that there will be Uh, abnormal dna synthesis similarly the pyrimidine analogs uh, for example uracil in place of ura uracil if you use 5 fluoro uracil then that will also inhibit the uh, dna synthesis so abnormal dna synthesis and that will cause that abnormal dna synthesis will cause apoptosis and um, so these anti metabolites like purine analogs and pyrimidine analogs they are s phase specific s phase specific they uh, are specific to the cell cycle during the dna synthesis phase s phase so these are s phase specific then what is the role of folate in dna synthesis so in food we have folate polyglutamate which are converted to folate monoglutamate that is methyl tetrahydrofolate which are absorbed in the form of methyl tetrahydrofolate and in the blood we have methyl tetrahydrofolate which enters into the cytosol in the cytosol it re- it releases this methyl to become tetrahydrofolate this methyl is taken up by vitamin b12 and forms methyl vitamin b12 then this methyl vitamin b12 uh, uh, release this methyl to homocysteine so that homocysteine forms methionine then this uh, t- tetrahydrofolate forms so formyl tetrahydrofolate then folate polyglutamate it is formed inside the cytosol and this folate polyglutam glutamate uh, by the action of folate reductase or dihydrofolate reductase forms dihydrofolate polyglutamate then in presence of dihydrofolate reductase uh, forms tetrahydrofolate polyglutamate which uh, in uh, which acts as a coenzyme to the enzyme thymidylate synthetase so thymidylate synthetase converts to two deoxyuridylate monophosphate to two dash deoxy thymidylate monophosphate dump to dtmp and uh, to this enzyme coenzyme is the tetrahydrofolate polyglutamate which uh, 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 by acting as coenzyme releases dihydrofolate polyglutamate or becomes dihydrofolate polyglutamate so in this way in the dna synthesis uh, folate has a role purines and pyrimidines have a role so the anti metabolites are uh, the analogs of either purines or pyrimidines or the folates so methotrexate is the folate antagonist we use and uh, in this way the anti metabolites act and when these anti metabolites uh, 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 act there will be abnormal dna synthesis 
and because of abnormal DNA synthesis uh, that will uh, there, there will be a defective uh, replication DNA damage and that will trigger apoptosis. So this is uh, all about antimetabolites. Thank you.